Hello ladies and gentlemen welcome to Triple N Media I am Nick Nickam in this presentation we are going to look at ARK ETF A R K K one of the famous uh, ETFs that was uh, started by Cathy Wood and back in March when the entire market collapsed it was around $37 and change it went all the way to 15970 on uh, i think it was uh, what was it february 16 that's when all the tech uh, indices uh, reached the peak as of today arc is 35% down from its top it is uh, considerably lower compared to the nasdaq uh, index and also qqq which is the nasdaq uh, proxy index or etf so what is going on with arc of course arc is quite unique in that it is investing primarily in the so called disruptive technology or the 22nd century technology in terms of electric vehicles and a whole variety of artificial intelligence and technologies like that but the question is why is the stock market continuing to show red uh, despite the fact that uh, dow s&p and nasdaq have made some progress since the uh, february 16th uh, downturn in order to do that let us look at some fundamental data as far as arc etf is concerned arc etf has a net uh, market value of 23.1 billion dollars that means at the peak it was probably more than 334 billion dollars so practically it has lost more than 10 billion dollars in its market value of course if you go back to what it was back in march of 2020 it is still up over 100% but the real question is where is this But the real question is where is this uh, downward trend going to stop let's also look at some of the things that are heavily invested in this particular etf as you can see we have tesla which is 10.84% of the etf then we have square which is a, like a financial uh, product processing uh, credit then we have teladoc which is telemedicine health then we have roku which is like the entertainment and the news media entertainment media then we have zillow which is real estate oriented and zoom let's go look at some of these stocks and see what direction they are headed let's go to let's see if we can put uh, tsla while well, the tesla stocks looks very similar to that of what we see with uh, arc and let's go to the next one which is uh, square square is not bad uh, but still you know it is uh, still looking downward uh, since uh, february 16th high maybe not as bad as uh, the arc itself learn out Teller Doc. This is the Teller Medicine, and this has taken a big beating here. It was three hundred dollars, and it's coming down to one hundred and thirty-eight dollars. Coming from a medical background, I can tell you, most doctors hate Teller Medicine. I'm absolutely certain. Most patients hate Teller Medicine, and most staff hate Teller Medicine because of technology. because of uh, not being able to see face to face and because we are not able to listen to the patient touch the patient and answer their questions face to face a lot of older patients they have trouble getting on line and when they get on line the bandwidth is a bigger bigger issue and the learning curve for physicians is extremely high at no remuneration whatsoever so physicians hate telemedicine i'm sure some of them have become robots just like any other industry uh, they are just cranking up notes 
which is basically what they have to do on telemedicine uh, so that they can clock in their hours. But telemedicine, it, you can see from $300, it has gone down to $138. But with reopening of the economy, with reopening of the, the patient care and all this, uh, telemedicine may not be getting back to what it was back in March, April, May 2020. So much for my medical jargon. Let's go to Zoom here. Okay, Zoom is another story similar to telemedicine. Zoom became extremely popular back in March when things were just going haywire with the total lockdown. And it reached all the way from $100 to $500. That's like 500% rise in Zoom. But look at here, ding, 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 ding. It's down to 282. So it's almost down 50%, much more than what ARC ETF is. What do you expect to happen for Zoom? First of all, there are a lot of, uh, first of all, there are lots of alternatives available right now for business purposes, at least. We have Microsoft Office, which is used by most businesses uh, and in the hospitals where I used to work. And we also have WebEx, which has uh, taken, especially the big business and industry uh, companies, and uh, as a result, so there's more competition. As we get more competition in the field, there's going to be a dilution of uh, the profits. As a result, maybe Zoom had a great day back in uh, October 2020, but as you can see, it has dropped almost 50%. What incentive is there for Zoom to Zoom again when all the economy is open when people can easily meet face to face uh, and when most of the people in the country get vaccinated. So the need for Zoom may be getting less and less, but it may be more so in, in the private sector, like for social media gathering and for some minor stuffs, which may not really generate any revenue. So that's as far as Zoom is concerned. Let's look at uh, another one, Zillow. Zillow, this is real estate. Of course, I'm always looking for an apartment or a house. So I have some idea about, uh, you know, playing with Zoo, <laughs> Zillow uh, on the website. But if you look at Houston area, the hot real estate market is extremely hot. I mean, the prices, the houses are put on the market and immediately they already have a, a pending sales, whatever it is. As a result, it looks like the market is overpriced and some people are talking it could be a bubble. And what happens if the bubble breaks? Or, or is the Zillow going to get busier? I don't know. What do you think? But anyway, nonetheless, Zillow was like over $200 and it's now to $118. So it's down more than 40%. So if you look at all the stocks that are in the ARC basket, they're all down much more than the ARC itself. And that's as far as Zulu is concerned. But as I said, basically Zulu lists apartments, uh, lands and the houses. And I guess the more people are there buying and selling, it's going to be popular. But I don't understand why when the real estate market is hot, why Zillow stock has been tanking. Next, let's look at Roku. Oh, okay. This is entertainment. Again, I think all these stocks may be disruptive innovation stocks, maybe more like the COVID pandemic lockdown stimulated stocks, I should say, because they all look like they went up during this COVID pandemic. But as the economies are opening up, these stocks are all going south. And again, this one was like $400 or something. It is down $311. So it is uh, less, it's also again down. Anyway, it's dropped 35% and a similar story like the other talks, uh, stocks we were talking about. Let's go back to Tesla. I don't know if I showed you Tesla. Okay, Tesla is the top one. But uh, Tesla, again, there are issues with Tesla in terms of uh, semiconductors, which was, uh, of course, acknowledged by Elon Musk during the, the earnings report conference. In addition to 
the semiconductor, which is affecting the lot of high tech industries uh, and computer industries. There's also an issue with uh, more electric vehicles coming into the market. All the luxury vehicles like uh, Mercedes Benz, Volkswagen, they all have their electric versions. And as more and GM has an electric version which is coming up, same thing with the Ford. When all these cars are coming up with their electric version, people who are already using those models may be more tuned to use their particular model which they are quite familiar with. I mean, that's my interpretation. What do you think? That's as far as Tesla is concerned. So let's go back to ARC here. ARC is supposed to be an actively managed ETF, unlike like QQQ, which monitors uh, the NASDAQ top 100 stocks, or SPY, which monitors the S&P 500, and it's just a basket, it sits there. If the S&P goes up 1%, it goes up 1%. But ARC is an actively managed ETF. In an actively managed ETF, do you expect you know somebody to hedge their losses uh, knowing that you know it is going downwards or it could go downwards I, i'm just asking these questions as you know why is it going down we know some of these uh, disruptive innovations uh, have been disrupted by the change in the covid course with vaccine introduction so what is the next stop for uh, arc is it uh, here's a little support at ninety dollars, and if it breaks that, then it could be down here. You're looking at like eighty-five dollars. What do you think? Why is the arc uh, dropping faster than any other ETF or technology-oriented stocks? Leave your comments below and uh, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate uh, your time and please, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you next time. Thank you.